So guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 26 tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on constants. We are going to check out the second and the only other method for uh, declaring, defining constants and uh, using them in C programs. So as you can see, I have saved a file in my code blocks IDE. It's called constants underscore part 2.c. On line 1, I have declared, uh, sorry, I have put in the header file. On line 2, I have declared the main function. 3 and 4, uh, I've got the curly braces. So if you've watched the previous tutorial, then you would know that uh, when you use the hash defined preprocessor directive to declare constants and give them values, you do that outside your main function. But the other method or the method that we're going to check out now, uh, it, you know, in this method, you do, you declare your constants and you give them values within the main function. So that's going to happen within the curly braces, right? So the way you do that is by typing the keyword const right and then you type in the data type of your constant so this is again something different because we've seen that in the other method you don't have to specify the data type you just type in the name of your constant and you give it a value and see what the compiler will automatically you know select a, a, an appropriate data type for your constant so you know if suppose I want to create an integer constant then I would type in int and then uh, the name of my constant so you know I'll in this program I'm going to uh, create a constant that's called side and that constant is going to hold uh, a value and then I would uh, you know assume that the constant holds the side for a square and then I would uh, compute the area for the square by multiplying the side with itself right so uh, obviously if you want to calculate the area of a square then it's side square so um, now you have to put in the assignment operator and again this is different because uh, with the previous method, you don't have to use the equal to symbol or the assignment operator. You just give a space and then give your value for the constant. But in this method, uh, you have to put in the equal to symbol as well. So I'll give the value uh, 10 to the constant side. And I'll have to put a semicolon to terminate this statement because it's an executable statement. And uh, on the next line, I'm going to declare a variable. And I'll uh, uh, call it area. And the variable is going to hold the value for the area of the square. And uh, of course, uh, the calculation would have to be side times side with a semicolon to terminate this statement. On the next line, I'm going to use uh, printf to display the value of area on screen. So the area of the square with side percentage d because uh, the constant is of integer type is another colon percentage d square units right and after the second double quotation mark i'll have to type in side first and then i'll type in the variable that name of the variable that holds the value of the area the semicolon will terminate the statement when i click on build and run we would see that the area of the square width side 10 is 100 square units. So the calculation was performed uh, correctly. And that's what you would expect from C. So anyway, a uh, few more things about constants. Uh, you must have noticed that in this tutorial as well as in the previous one when I first mentioned constants to you, I wrote the constant in capital letters. Now this is not a rule in C. It's not mandatory that you have to type in your uh, constant names using capital case letters only, but it's a good programming practice. And in certain programming languages, it's a rule that you have to, you know, uh, type in your constant names uh, using capital letters only. And the advantage that this offers you is that it becomes easy for you to distinguish, you know, what items are constants and what are variables. So for, in for instance, in this program, you've got uh, area and that's a variable and you've got site that's a constant. So you know, if someone who doesn't know that size is a constant, you know, if, if your program is long and it's complex and it's got like 1500 lines of code, then, uh, you know, at a later part of the program, if someone's just viewing a function, then it would be easy for the person to know that, okay, size is a constant because, you know, it's, it, it's in capital case and area is a variable because it's in lower case. So again, it's not a rule and C is case sensitive. So, you know, uh, even if I would have this uh, in small case letters, the program would work just as just as uh, well. So, uh, but it's a good practice. So you should try to inculcate it. The other thing is that uh, if I would suppose try to change the value of the constant here. So if I would give it a value 12 here, 
and uh, save the file and run it again then you would see that I get this red square box on line 6 and that's the compiler's way of telling me that there's an error on this line if I uh, press F2 and check the log then you would see that uh, in the error section I have this error that on line 6 assignment of read only variable side so you know since uh, side is a constant it's a read only variable the constants are also called read only variables uh, we cannot give it value twice so you've given it a value 10 once and you know you have to use that value and if you have to make a change to the value then you have to do it on line 4 where the constant was uh, originally declared so anyway uh, that was uh, enough about constants and uh, in the next tutorial we are going to check out something interesting again so stay tuned for updates and if you have any doubts then you can put your messages in the comment section below and uh, I would try to entertain as many as I can and uh, thank you so much for watching this one and subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you soon. Bye.